come to the quiz show where if you know, you know, and if you don't, we confirm it. As per I'm your host, Buddha Boss. Leo Tukona. Hey, guy. Oh, yeah, Mujui. We have a double hot show. Motokama Pasi. Everything is double, double. I hope at a point, spells are called double, double. What are you around here? <laughs> if I can see 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 Aspiring actor and director in film hey. production. Hey, but when we do CV, to give on even a match. Tracy, Tracy, this. Karibu sana. Hey, what? What are you going Gina? What differentiates the two of you? Nos nambi Gina. Anything other than Gina? Ah, <laughs> uh, there are so um, many things. So like many things. our voices are different. Your yeah. voices? Yeah. Ah, okay. I have a hoarse voice. Oh, okay. She yeah. has a softer, softer voice. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, so muto akitaka kujua nani ya sikizia sauti pao. Eh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, your name and what you do? Um, Stacy Gadesha, a content creator. Tracy? Stacy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm um, a content creator. All right. Uh, we have a YouTube channel. It's called Gadesha Twin Empire. Okay. You should go and watch and subscribe to oh, our hey, channel. Hey, you are the one who is 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 Empire. one who is the 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 the one who is the Na natoa stress na, ka, na kalam. Unatoa stress na kalam. Oh, you're a writer. Ya, yeah, mimi ni msani. Uwe ni msani? Yeah. Wa, wa sani ni wengi. Msani wa nini? Msani wa, wa love songs. Love songs? Yeah. Abuda, hata <laughs> tiuni moja tutu usike kama hii yako ni. <laughs> kitu tu ya two seconds. Kitu. Hei, hey, matu kitu ya two seconds. <clears throat> Shuli ni kata bila sababu Ama ulio na nina nyingi tabu Hata sita sema kitu, reaction ya hama kwa hivyo tosha Karibu sana mwuse, napenda hiyo Kaka braza Yeah, yeah Name and what you do I mean it was Paul Mutua Yes I'm also a businessman Alright And the chairman of the identical family Identical, yani by the Okay, wala meni pia difference yao ni sauti Nyini nini ogena wa differentiate Kitu cha kwanza, mm. ukituangalia tu utajua. <laughs> Agi zijui. <laughs> <laughs> ok, uh, watu usema kuna hey. zile words mi upenda kutumia sana. Yes. Kuliko ye. Hey. Kuliko ye, hey, kama yes. nini? <laughs> Sasa ni wawu ujue. Ni jitia, ni jitia ni kuko. <laughs> so, timia ni naituaje? Tunaitua The Mutuas. The Mutuas, sawa. The Mutuas, what a love song? Versus, hey, <laughs> hapa kuna jina imepeo hapa, Gadesha something something. <laughs> this is gonna be a hot show. Ah, I'm already excited. All right, let's get into it. General knowledge, we begin with our quick fire trivia. We're gonna ask you guys 10 questions. You have 60 seconds to respond. Every correct answer, 100 points. Sijui kama twins wanasomaga akili ya mtu mwingine <laughs> but kila mtu anapambana na hali yake unajibu swali kivi yako. General knowledge is compulsory. Sijui nianze na watu. Hata leo nianze na upande wangu wa kushoto. Eh unatuonea. Okay, ungependa nianze na wao? Eh ningependa uanze na wao. Ladies first. Ama hiyo umekwara. Hapana, hapana. Leo leo. Leo leo twatane nayo. Madem umekwara, Mose utapambana na wewe na asali. Na na chama mwenyewe hapa. All right, the mutuas all the best. Remember we can't discuss. Kumbuka, time will be taking. I begin with you Moses. Ready when you are? Yes. Your time officially begins now. Where is the Statue of Liberty specifically located in New York? California. California. <laughs> Incorrect. What is Bill Clinton's middle name? French. French. Incorrect. <laughs> a Methuselah of wine holds the equivalent of how many bottles? Pardon, come up again. A Methuselah of wine holds the equivalent of how many bottles? Is that a pass? Pass. Good. Who became Germany's first female chancellor? My brother, time is speaking, Chairman. Pass. Pass. Very good. Who wrote Animal Farm? 
What's that? Is that a pass? Pass, yes. How many stomachs <laughs> does a cow have? Chairman? Two. 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 In. Correct. What is the highest number used in Sudoku puzzle? Moses? Ooh. Pass? Pass. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> what is a female deer called? Chairman? Is that a pass? Is that a pass? Yes. Pass. Very good. All right. Which bird can hover in the air and also fly backward? Moses? That's a pass, right? Ego. Ah, you know, Papa Ego. Ego. <laughs> Infrared and time is up. Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Hummingbird flies backward. A female deer is called a doe. Now we know the highest number used in Sudoku puzzle nine. A cow has four stomachs, not two. George Orwell wrote the animal farm. Angela Merkel, first female chancellor of Germany. I met to sell of wine, eight bottles. Yo, what one in you wanna jelewa at up in the melana killer mutu? Bill Jefferson Clinton. That is his full name. Now we say the Statue of Liberty, where it is specifically located in New York, in California. Yes. I agree. At Liberty Island <laughs> in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Liberty Island in New York. The Mutuas, Mumeanza, Sifibaya Sana, Sifibaya Sana, Zero. <laughs> <laughs> it is <laughs> Tracy Stacy. Wow. Do you think you got this? We got, we got this. You got this? We got this. All right, let's see if you got this. If you're ready, Tra Tracy or Stacy? Tracy. Tracy. Okay. Tracy, your time officially begins. Now, which animal's name comes last in the dictionary? Zebra. Zebra, incorrect. What is the 13th letter of the English alphabet? Stacy? Time is ticking. R. R, incorrect. Which substance is most used for pencil lead? Graphite. Correct. What name can a mass of floating frozen water be called? Pardon? What name can a mass of floating frozen water be called? Is that a pass? Stay there. Pass, pass, pass. Pass. Thank you very much. A poult is the young one of which creature? Pardon? A poult is the young one of which creature? Um, hen. Hen. In. Correct. How many kings of England have been called Philip? Stacy? Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. In. Correct. Which city in the world has the largest population? India. India. In. Correct. Which swimming technique is named after an insect? Pardon? Which swimming technique is named after an insect? Is that a pass? Frog. Frog. In. Correct. <laughs> Which instrument has 47 strings? Pass. Pass. All right. Which traffic light follows green? Uh, Time is almost. Follows green. Is that red, a pass? Red. Red. In. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> oh my god. At least we got one. <laughs> My <laughs> God, Amber follows green. Oh. A harp has 47 strings. Will you say the swimming technique named after an insect is frog? <laughs> <laughs> Butterfly. Butterfly stroke. Which city in the world has the largest population? India is not a city, but Tokyo is the correct answer. 37.4 million. Why? <laughs> Watch out. Mm -hmm. How many kings of England have been called Philip? Good news. None. <laughs> that was a trick question. What? A poet is the young one of a turkey, not a hen. <coughs> a mass of floating frozen water. That is an iceberg. And of course, the 13th letter of the English alphabet is M, not R. And Ziziva is the last animal dictionary. You guys have gotten at least one question correct. 100 points. And Gadesha Sami Sami are now leading at 100 points. <laughs> we are proud. You are proud, so yeah, am I. Yeah. You guys are doing a good job. History, sports, entertainment. What's your pick? Stacy Tracy. History. History. That sounds like a good choice. Sounds like a good choice to me. Ah, he, he would enjoy.
you will enjoy. Stacy, I yeah. hope we will. <laughs> you will. Are you ready? When we ule ule no discussing to pamba na aliyeti, your time officially begins. Now, which country's embassy in Nairobi was bombed on 7th August in 1998? Is that a pass? Pass. Thank you. What was the final battle that Napoleon fought? Tracy, is that a pass? Pass. What was the name given to the chief spiritual and military leader of the Nandi and Kipsigis? Stacy? Time is ticking? Pass. Good. Which was the first nation to give women the right to vote? Um, um, uh, uh, Zimbabwe. Z Zimbabwe. <laughs> Incorrect. What was Iran previously named? Uh, Iraq. Iraq. Incorrect. Oh <laughs> Paleontology is the study of? Fossils. Fossils. Incorrect. What nationality was Confucius? Huh? What Fossil. nationality was Confucius? Is that a pass? Pass. All right. In which year did the Titanic sink? Um, 1920. 1920? Incorrect! Where does the American president live? Uh, Is that a pass? No. England. No. England. <laughs> what was the first metal used by man? Um, iron. Iron! I like it. Beautiful. Incorrect! <laughs> Copper. What? Stacy, you say that the American president lives in. I don't get any Washington DC. They get compared by the uh, uh, the White House. The White House. <laughs> oh my God! The Titanic sank in 1912. Paleontology, the study of prehistoric life. Iran was previously called Persia. 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 New Zealand was the nation that was first to give women the right to vote. Or Coyote is the spiritual and military leader of the Nandi and the Kipsigis. Waterloo is the last battle that was fought by Napoleon. And the embassy that was bombed on 7th August 1998 was the U.S. Embassy in Nairobi. Good job. You guys have actually gotten everything incorrect. <laughs> no point. Still at 100 points. Mosera chairman. Yeah. Opportunity in your image, Jipa. Okay, so. kama nyinyi muna pita watu piti piti. Sawa, sawa. Sports, entertainment. Chagweni wisely. Entertainment. Entertainment? Yes. Ah, I'm going to Entertainment. Ah, I'm going to Are you ready? <laughs> yes. All the best. Your time officially begins. Now, which songs in Kenya were banned from being played in public except in clubs and bars? Give me any. Is that a pass? Katombi songs. Ka? Katombi songs. Katombi songs. <laughs> Kiss Me Kate is a musical version of which play by Shakespeare? Pardon? Kiss Me Kate is a musical version of which play by Shakespeare? Okay, pass. Pass. All right. Where is singer Adele's surname? Or what is rather? What is singer Adele's surname? What? Sorry? Pass. Thank you very much. Where were wigs first invented? Wigs. Mose? China. China. In. All right. What was the original name of Mickey Mouse? Is that a pass? Chairman? Yeah, pass. Clark Kent is the real name of which superhero? Mose? Pass. That's a pass? pass. All right. Who is the strongest marine famous for his spinach? Chairman! <laughs> Popeye. Popeye. Kama mbuli kumuka ile katunia Popeye. <laughs> na nikuwa nafinya spinach mtu wangu superpowers na ingia kutoka maali. Clark Kent, Superman. Superman. Motima is the former name of uh, Mickey Mouse. The first nation to invent wigs. Believe it or not, see China, Egypt.
Egypt. <laughs> Adele Atkins is Atkins is the surname. I hope that's the correct pronunciation. Kiss Me Kate is a musical version of The Taming of the Shrew by William Shakespeare. And the songs in Yusuko Kwanisiyot, Ulusabati Kana, Ulusabati Woha, Atika Wod songs. Katongi. Agis on Yusuko Kwanisiyot. Sini, Ezekiel Mutua Niyadi, Alimbania, by the way. Alimbania? Yeah, kwe. Serious? Yes. Aka mwambia, never ever? Aka mwambia, siji for, siji likuwa one year or two years, I don't, I don't remember. Wakatoa kwa list? Kabisa. Eh, eh. Ha, yo nita confirm. <laughs> Mita confirm. <laughs> Ile nye mimi najua. Wa mlambez. <laughs> oh. eh, na watu wa mnyonyez. Na mengineo. But anyway, iyo nita wanyuma mtanisamea. It is not in our official list that we have. Okay. So far so good. Zero. Mm. Next challenge. Two truths and one lie. <laughs> <laughs> This is the quiz show. Our next challenge is two truths and one lie. Before we get into it, naambiwa katombi songs watu yangu. Kupe kuna list ya vernacular artists. I understand that is a Kamba artist. Amefanyua mambo on the official list kunayo. We didn't have that name, lakini tumefanya quick confirmation to naambiwa. Vernacular artists he is one of those ones. Walifanyua ile kitu. Therefore, with a very heavy heart. Or is it light? I'll give a hundred points. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will give a hundred points. Mm. It is now a hundred points ah. apiece. Pauline, no Pauline, two truths and one lie. And since it is a tie as usual, I have to switch sides, which means... You guys went fast. So I'll yeah. be moving on. Yeah. <laughs> to these ladies, you still have the ability of going fast. Remember the task at hand is to figure out which is the false statement of the three that I read. One, New York has the highest concentration of shopping malls. True or false? You lose about 50 to 100 hairs a day. Statement number three, at any moment, clouds cover about 60% of earth. Stacy Tracy, five seconds it is. Tell me which one is false. Your time is fast ticking. You lose about, about 50 to 100 years. Of course, of course. Nyinyo watu mukana nyuele That was a, that was a no-brainer. That was a no-brainer mboga sana. I love it. At any moment, clouds cover about 60% of the earth. Imagine, it is true. It is also true when you tell me that you lose about 50 to 100 hairs a day. That apparently is true. The false statement is statement number one. New Jersey has the highest concentration of shopping malls and not New York. Stacy Tracy, no point. Chairman Mose. <laughs> the kills on African porcupines are the shortest on the savannah. All apes laugh when they are tickled. Spotted hyenas can digest skin and bones. One of these three is false. Your five seconds to determine which one is the false statement. Remember here you can discuss. Chairman Mose, tell me which one is false. Uh -huh. Talk to me. The quills on African porcupines yes. are the shortest on the savanna. Is false. You're kidding. Yes. Hmm? No, no, no. I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. You're not kidding? Yes. <laughs> you want to tell me spotted hyenas can digest skin and bones? Me, I think na, na, that one, that is the force. That's force. Okay. I go with that one. With which one? Spotted uh, hyenas can digest skin and bones. So you've changed your answer without asking me? <laughs> official permission to change your answer. Otherwise, Okay, okay. Can you grant us a permission? Would you like to change your answer? Yes. So change it. What's your final answer? 
spotted hyenas can digest skin and bone. All right, let me tell you for free, statement number two is correct. All apes laugh when they are tickled. Ule mwenye alifanya yu kitu nusijiru kwa nafanya nini ya kikuna babun. The kills of African porcupines are the shortest on the savannah. That is the false statement. <laughs> the kills of African porcupines are actually as long as three pencils. Yes, spotted hyenas can digest skin and bones. That is true. No point. It is still a tie. We take a quick commercial break to Kirudi. <laughs> Dictionary challenge <laughs> in a tungo <laughs> 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 Welcome back to the quiz show. Our next challenge is guess the meaning of the word. It is a tie. Still at 100 points. Here, guys, you can discuss and you can snatch points. Our challenge is guess the meaning of the word. options. Which is the correct synonym. Hi. Because it is a tie. I will switch to the gentleman. You go first. And your first word is prosaic. Options are A, ordinary, B, round, C, believe, D, intense. Mose, which is the answer on behalf of the team? Remember, you can discuss. Is it A, B, C, or is it D, prosaic? What's the correct synonym? Give me your answer. Yes? C. C. Be believe. Believe. All right. What's your answer, Stacy? Just in case they're wrong. Yes? Intense. Intense? All right. I love it. Intense is incorrect. Believe. Incorrect. Uh -huh. Round. Uh -huh. Incorrect. Correct answer is A. Ordinary. Over to the ladies. Your word is charlatan. Options are A. Fake. B. Surrender. C. Terminate. D. Old. Tracy Stacy. Charlatan. Um. Charlatan. What's your answer? Stacy? Yep. Time is almost up. Terminate. Terminate? I love it. Chairman, a different answer for me? Or you agree? C. C? What is C? Terminate. You agree it is terminate? Yeah. Let me tell you, charlatan. Correct answer. A. Fake. Oh no point. I have answer, a twist for a penny card. Next word, cyst, is it? It is rather A, boil, B, communicate, C, engine, D, speak, Moses. Cyst, A, B, C, or D? A. Talk to me. A. A, you agree? Yes. All right. Tracy. A. A, A, A is correct. I love it. 100 points. It is, a, it is 100 points to the gentleman. What? <laughs> they yeah. gave the correct answer first. Okay. <laughs> Over to you. Your word is scourge. Scourge. A. Whip. B. Survive. C. Restore. D. Scorn. Tracy. A, B, C, or D? Scourge. Yes? What's the answer? Scorn. Scorn. Moses. A. A. What is it? Whip, scourge. If you insist, who am I? A, whip. Correct. <laughs> you have snatched points. You are now at 300 points. Next challenge, spell the word. This is the quiz show. Our next challenge is spell the word. The task at hand is to make correct spelling of the word we shall give you. We can still discuss and yes, we can still snatch points. It is now 300 points to 100 points. Leaders, you go first. Here is your first statement. Seismology is the scientific study of earthquakes and related phenomena. Spell for me seismology. Ah, chairman, nakata harusha pata ikitu. Seismology. 
Uh huh. All right. Chairman. What's the spelling, Chairman? C Y. C Y. S M O. S M O. L O G Y. L O G Y. Any double anywhere? Just asking. No double. Or is there? L. I don't know. I don't know. Double is S. Double is S. Spell it for me for correctness. One more time. C Y. C Y. Double S. Double S. M O. M O. L O. L O. G Y. Beautiful. Hold that thought. Tracy Stacy. Yeah. Who's giving the spelling? Stacy? Let's go. Yes. Can we repeat again? Please. Okay, one more last chance. Of course. Seismology is supposed to be P H Y. P H Y? S M O. S M O. L O G Y. L O G Y. P H Y. Seismology. Yes. yes. Fantastic. I like it. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Stacy. Yes. What's your spelling? P H Y. P H Y? S M O. S M O. L O G Y. L O G Y. Same spelling as theirs, you agree? Yes. Okay. Fantastic. This is actually a good one. Seismology. S E I S M O L O G Y. That is the correct spelling. Ooh. No point. <laughs> <laughs> I said there was a the thing. sleuth prides himself on being able to solve cold cases. Sleuth is a detective. Spell for me, sleuth. Huh. Ah, Tracy, you got this. <laughs> you got this. Sleuth. All right. What's your spelling? Um. Uh huh. S L U. S L U. T H E. T H E. T H E. Yeah. T H E. Yeah. T H E. Yeah. Beautiful. Mosa chair. S L U. Yes. E. E. H. L. No. T H. T H. Yes. One more time. Just spell it one more time. S L U E. S L U E. T H. T H. Unakufa apo. Nakufa apo. That's a good place to die. <laughs> good place. Correct spelling. S L E T H E U T H E U T H not U E No point so close brothers you only may feel so close you are almost there Oh my oh my oh my oh that one I think you guys were snatching am I right Ah uh, needs to be over to you guys now Solitaire is an exciting way to pass the time Spell for me solitaire Ah, ha ha. Let me the Find your kit. S O. Yes. L I. Yes. T A. Yes. R E. T A R E. Yes. T A R E. Solitaire. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Fantastic. Good job. Good job. Good job. Tracy. What's the spelling? S O. S O. L I. L I. T R E. T R E. S O L I T R E, am I right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Correct spelling is whatever they have said. Plus. <laughs> Plus an I between A and R. Between A and R. Solitaire. S O L I T A I R E. No point, yeah. brothers. Oh. Though you are so close, ladies, can you get something here? Add peanut butter and sweat to make edible delicacies. Spell for me, sweat. Yoni ya ina mafuta flani ya ngombe ya mnyama. Hard and fat. Sweat. Tracy, Stacy. All right, your time is almost up. Um, S W. S W. E A T. S W E A T, hardened fat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you insist, Chairman. The question, please. 
Add peanut butter and sweat to make edible delicacies. Spell for me, sweat. And I've given you the meaning of sweat. Hardened fat, mafuta. Kuna kama mafuta kana kwa hapo kwa wanyama mnyama hivi to see. That ka hardened fat, that's called sweat. Mm. All right, I let's go. I think it's S U mm. E T. S U E T. E T. Yes. You think <laughs> that's the correct answer. It is? Yes. Moses? We can't differ, right? I don't know. Whatever answer you give me, that's the team answer. Okay, I go by his answer. You go by his answer? Yes. I'm not sure that is wisdom. I'm not sure that is wisdom. Because the correct spelling is S U E T. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have stashed another Wait. 100 points. My, my, no. my. Next challenge, guess the logo. <laughs> this is the quiz show. Our next challenge is guess the logo. And of course, up in Bogasana, we make the correct brand identification from the images we display. We can discuss, we can snatch points. Leading at 400 points. Gentlemen, this is your first image. Tell me the brand name I'm looking for. Five seconds is the time you have. Wow. Almost. Almost. Just a moment. There we go. Five seconds. Moses Chairman. What's your answer, gentlemen? Yes? Machi uh, Mezidunga. That's a pass? Pass. Okay. Tracy Stacy. <coughs> yes? Taekwondo. Taekwondo! I like it! Yeah! Ah, is it Nini Koza Nizile za Nini Zebe Nini Ka? Ah, yeah! I like it! Is it Taekwondo? Is that the brand name? Taekwondo? Let's find out! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are close! <laughs> <laughs> taekwondo, you shall forgive us! Alright! Gentlemen, while you are still at it, Yamaha, this is the next image for you. Yes. Yes. Suzuki. I don't know. Suzuki? Yes. Suzuki. <laughs> Suzuki. I don't know. What do you think? Stacy Tracy. What's the answer? Um... I think it's Suzuki. You think it is Suzuki? Yes. Is it Suzuki? Yes, it is. Let's find out. I don't know. Yes, <laughs> it is Suzuki. <laughs> 100 points to your credit. Can you oh. ladies make it 200 points? This is your image. I believe you can. Tracy Siogope. Bado. Muko na great chance. Ah, Muko Sawa. This one, Monajua. This one, Monajua. You've seen this one. <laughs> Panda. Panda. Panda! All right! Panda! I like it. Mose? <coughs> Panda? German? Hapa Nikulon Zero. Nikulon Zero? Nyo tu wachare nao kama Nikulon Zero, Nikulon Zero. Is it Panda? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Wild, wild fund for nature. No point, ladies. <laughs> last image and last challenge of this, or last question of this challenge. Tell me this one. Stacy Tracy, you know it. You've seen it. You've probably used it. Oh my God. Oh, you're God. Stacy? Tracy, is that a pass? Yeah, pass. Pass, fantastic. Chairman, 
I think it's Google Meet. Google Meet. Yes. Google Meet. Not Meet Nyama. Meet. Meeting. Yeah, meeting. Yeah, meeting. Yes. yes. Google Meet. Yes. M double E T. Yes. Google Meet. Yes. If you insist. If you insist. Is it? Google Meet. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Google <laughs> Calendar. What? Not okay. Google Meet. <laughs> no <laughs> point, <laughs> gentlemen. Oh, my <laughs> God. Let's take a short me. commercial break. When we return, guess the prize. Welcome back to the quiz show. If you know, you know. If you don't, we confirm it. We have a tight one here. Wanna, we have got a super race, for 500 points to the gentlemen, the Mutuas, and Gadesha something, something. <laughs> 100 points, anything can happen on the quiz show. Is this going to be one of those upsets that are super great? Gentlemen, guess the price. Not after Bayo Supermarket. This is the first, pro, uh, first product. Roycom Choosy Mix Chicken Flavor Seasoning. 500 grams, Ocho Mungu. Okay. I usually buy it at 100 and 110. Okay, usually you buy it at 110. Yes. Sawa, sawa. Yes. You jamo 80 wachana na yasini kweli? Yes. Uh, 500 grams. Yes. 110. Yes. Ah, good job. Good job, guys. Good job. I, I like it. I like it. Yep. Um, I think it's at 120. 120? Yeah. Yeah, you oh yeah, yeah. Inflation, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Better. What 120? I yeah. love it. Is it 110? Is it 120? Price range, what your mungu? 200 to 340 is the price range. Hapo kwa 110, as we said, bay near supermarket. I don't deny it, you normally buy it at 110. Swalini, which supermarket? <laughs> 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 Next product, gentlemen, sunlight dishwashing liquid lemon, 750 ml. 750 ml. 750 ml. Yes? 350. 3 Hundred and would you like to change your answer for whatever reason? <laughs> Just ask him. No, 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 Dishwashing liquid. Okay. Ukitoa sahani yenye nakuja nayo. Hmm? Uh, yes. Can you change? Yes, please. In fact, I insist you change. <laughs> I insist. <laughs> Stacy, give me something that I can work with. 350. 350. Same price as this gentleman. Yeah. Muna maintain. Correct price range, Otomungu? 190 to 300. Are you, you are close, but not there. <laughs> Ladies, can you get 100 points? Jig Colors, 2.25 liters. Normally, Mutianiko. Jig Colors, 2.25 liters. Tracy. 2.25 liters. 2.25. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's at. You're thinking it's at? Yes. Three hundred. Three hundred Kenya shillings. Two point two five liters. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mose. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Mose. Fanya ni kitu kwa Fanya ni kitu kwa <laughs> 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 no, 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 in a range between a and 1200. So, Munakufa <laughs> 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 1200? Yes. Aye. 
Sawa. Sawa. Ile kitu room na nibamba nayo ni bei vitu mnanunua mnajua. Mnajua na mbembelezi mtu na bei. Correct price range. Anything kwanzia 800 Kenya shillings to 1000 Kenya shillings. Nasi nimesema 1000 to 1200. All right. So pole sana my brother. Uh, as I said, mimi najua these things you have bought them. To forward to which supermarket? <laughs> Last one. Ladies, this one listen to, in fact here ta musi angalia screen. Naona screen ina opoteza. This is skizen. Mhm. Mm. All right? Mixy instant skimmed milk powder with vegetable fat to 50 grams milk powder. Milk powder ya mixy. 50 grams. To 50 grams. Hii ni kitu mnajua bei. Hmm. Tracy, Stacy, mnajua hii kitu. 250 grams milk powder. 80 shillings to 200 shillings. Kana kama milk powder. Sasa mnaelewa? Nipe bei. Yes. 80 shillings. 80 shillings. Okay. Okay. Tia, mbona unalika kitu ni kama amesema bei yenu? Hapana. Ina filu na wachocha. Anyway, so. Okay. Na wachocha tena. Mimi naona. 150. 150, 150. 150 shillings. 150 shillings. Yes. Sasa you mbona sasa mimi ni mchochaji, mimi ni mchochi. Haya, sitachocha mtu. Umesema 150, wamesema 80. Ukweli ni kwamba anything kuanzia 380 wow. hadi 450 50 grams 250 grams 380 hey. hadi 450 380 to 450 no point haya final challenge of this beautiful evening back to school hii tunapiga mosho moja Da, da. Enjoy this one. This is the quiz show. Our final challenge of this evening is back to school. We have four subjects. Kiswahili is compulsory. Geography, mathematics, ICT are optional. This is quick fire TV. Kila mtu anapambana na hali yake. Muongoza na alama miatano. Moses, au ni kuite Musa. Ukiwa tayari basi nita kuliza swali lako la kwanza. Kumbuka muda ni ule ule sekunde sitini. Ingawa maswali ni masita. Uko tayari? So ila kula kwanza ni hili. Tambua maneno haya kwa kimombo. Kitenzi. Moses? Present. Present. Umeno. Kivumishi. Ndugi yangu. Kivumishi. Muda weoma. Kama ujiwa na sema pita. Past perfect tense. Umenoa. Kiunganishi. Ndugi yangu muda weoma. Kama ujiwe na sema pita. Pita. Haya, adhibu. Adhibu. In English. Nam. Punish. Punish, umepata. Adhimisha. Make sure. Make sure, umenoa. Na, muda yu mekupa kisugo. Adhimisha, celebrate. Kiunganishi, conjunction. Conjunction. Kivumishi adjective. Adjective. Kitenzi verb. Kitenzi verb. Alama moja, alama mia moja zaidi, muko na alama mia sita. Haya. Stacy Tracy, mukiwa yeah. tayari basi. Ntanza nawe soli lako la kwanza ni hili. Tambua maneno haya kwa kimombo. Achama. Kamu juu waza sema pita. Live. Live. Umenoa. Abudu. Worship. Umepata. Abiri. Um, Tracy. Pass. Pass. Haya. Kimilikishi. Kimilikishi. Muda wa yoma, Stacy. Waza sema pita. Stacy. Pass. Pass. Haya. Kiwakilishi. Proper. Proper? Proper noun. Proper noun. 
<laughs> Shikili hapo. Kielezi. Vab. Vab. Da. Umekaribia sana. Umekaribia sana. Kielezi. Adverb. Adverb. Kiwakilishi pronoun. Kisha kimilikishi possessive pronoun. Kimilikishi possessive pronoun. Haya. Abiri bold. <laughs> bold. Mumepata swali moja sahihi. Alama mia moja zaidi. Muko na alama mia mbili. Gentlemen, finish strong. Mathematics, geography, ICT. What's your take? Mathematics. Mathematics, fantastic. All right, remember, pale pale tu, utakaratasi unaweza vuta ukimaliza unarudisha huko, but I'm starting with you, chairman. Okay? Ready when you are? Yes. All right. All the best. Your time begins now. 50 times 8 is equal to? Time is ticking. 400. Correct. What is an integer? Pass. Pass. All right. What is a 15-sided polygon? How do you call it? Mm, chairman? Pass. Pass. All right. How many edges are there in a tetrahedron? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a pass? 15. 15. In. <laughs> Correct. What fraction of an hour is five minutes? What fraction of an hour is five minutes? Chairman? Time is ticking? 12. Sorry? A third. A third. In. Correct. What is the year 1976 as a Roman numeron? 1976, Roman numeron. Moses, you can should, do this. Should I write it? You can tell me. If you want to write, it's up to you. 1976 as a Roman numeron. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Is that a pass? That's a pass. Thank you. M C M. L X X V I 1976 1 over 12 my brother <laughs> is the correct uh, fraction uh. Would you talk up your third you're almost there tetrahed uh, tetrahedron has six edges you need a pier, triangular uh, pyramid that's what we call a tetrahedron six edges a 15 sided polygon is called a pentadecagon pentadecagon <laughs> and of course an integer is a whole number <laughs> whether positive or negative the first one you got, one question correct, 700 points. Ladies, if you get five questions correct, it's a tie. If you get all questions correct, you carry the day. Can we do it? Yes. I believe so. ICT, geography. Yeah, ICT. ICT, Stacy, ready when you are. All the best. Your time begins now. What are the physical, tangible parts of a computer system? The base in correct an electronic billboard that has a short text or graphical advertising message is referred to as um. ah Tracy time is ticking pass what is the act of using websites to pour out one's grievances pass all right what is a URL in full is that a pass Okay, what name is given to the function that determines the height and width of a document in Microsoft Word? All right, Control A performs which function? Control A. Is that a pass? No, time is ticking. Tracy? Time is up. Selects all. <laughs> Control A. Selects all content. All right, page setup. That is what we determines the height and width of a document. URL, Universal Resource, Resource Locator. locator. Yeah. Cyber venting. Can I pour your grievances online? A banner is that electronic billboard we are talking about, and the physical, tangible parts of a computer called hardware. <laughs> Poleni sana, no point. Oh, winners, please come and join us here. 
Mumaliza at 700 points against 200 points. You guys have tried to participate on the show. Send us an SMS to the number triple one, triple four, triple one. Let's keep the conversation going at Freddy Buddha Boss at Switch TV KE. Every Wednesday, Thursday. Every Wednesday, Thursday. Only on Switch TV. Whatever it is.